Hello and welcome to my channel, Kim's Beauty Basics. I'm Kim and today I'm going to be doing a quick um, review and uh, look at this Clarins uh, Jolie Balm or Daily Energizing Lovely Lip Balm if I don't read it in French and I'm not French and I don't speak French. I apologize. Uh, Daily Energizer Lovely Lip Balm by Clarins Paris. It's supposed to react to the pH of your lips to give you a customized color uh, specifically for you. So we'll see if it does that. I'm going to apply it. I'm going to take off my lip gloss, apply it to my lips, uh, and I'm going to do a couple other tests, maybe add some acid and a little something that's basic and see if it does change the pH and uh, turn a different color. It says it will. Um, yeah, we'll just test it out, see how it wears, see what it looks like, um, see if they even like it. It's supposed to be a nourishing balm, so we'll see. So if you want to keep on watching, uh, the review slash uh, test will be coming right up. Alright, so getting into this, here is the box. Um, so opening that up. Looks like we have a ton of instructions. Oh. Bomb comes like this. And it says kiss on the outside of it. Cute packaging. Kind of looks like Valentine's Day. Alright. And so it comes with these instructions here. Try to read a little bit of it. Um, so they call this the Daily Energizer Lovely Lip Balm. It says it's a nourishing plant cocktail. Didn't know that it had anything to do with plants on the outside of the package. Two hours later. So, it is cardboard, so it's very light. I don't know if I like that. I think if I'm paying this much for it, um... I would like to have it a little bit better packaging. Uh, so right now it's retailing for $18 in Canada. What? It says it's $20 in the States and it's $18 in Canada. That makes absolutely no sense to me. Usually everything here is more expensive. Okay, well, whatever. <clears throat> you get this at the Bay, Hudson's Bay, or Clarins USA for the US. Probably it means it's in other drugstores down there. Or maybe like Ulta. All right, so this is the package. Cardboard. We're opening it up now. There is metal. So twisting that bomb up, you get about this much product there. Sorry, it says you get 0.1 ounce or 3.5 grams of product. So that's not bad. Pretty average. I think they're jipping you on there. All right. So it is clear. I'll swatch it on my hand here. No, it's instantly starting to change. Let's apply. Sorry, my lips are dry. I'm putting a ton on to get a really good feel. Oh my, wow, my lips are really changing. It smells like a candy, but I can't remember what candy it is. I don't know, but now I want that candy. Yeah, it's definitely pink, but I feel like the edges, like it, like if you're just gonna apply pink lipstick, why don't you just apply pink lipstick? Because this part, it kind of looks on the outside like less pink. It's okay, it feels nice. It does feel hydrating. I don't think my lips look any bigger. Does it look like I got lip injections? No, it does not. They look exactly the same. Feels like I just put a ton of balm on my lips, which I wouldn't do. All right, so I've had it on for about 10 minutes or so. Um, still feels really like wet and like I put way too much lip balm on. So eight hours wear, I doubt it. It's been 10 minutes, it's coming off. But it did change color and it felt nice. I mean, I don't think I'm just gonna grab it all the time. It kind of looks doesn't look even to me. It doesn't look like a lipstick. I would rather just put on a nice like nude gloss or a pink gloss if I wanted to look my lips to look pink and then they would at least be even. Um, so to spice things up a bit, 
I'm gonna grab a lemon next and I'm gonna just dab my lips with a little bit of that changing the pH of my lips and then apply this we'll come right back all right so going on to the second part of this review uh, testing out if this uh, Clarins Jeez, what is it called? Uh, Daily Energizer Lip Balm actually does change with different pHs. Um, so what I, the best thing I could think of is changing the pH with a lemon. I did cut this open, so right here, it's a lemon. So I have this lemon, I'm gonna apply it to my lips. I did take off the lip balm, so just my bare lips here. And just I'm gonna apply this to my lips, let it dry and then try applying the lip balm over top and seeing if it actually does react to this pH. So, we shall see. Ow! Don't recommend putting lemon directly on your lips, or any open cuts for that matter. Lips are a little dry. It was a little bit more difficult to take off than I thought it would be for being a balm that just was rolling around my lips, but... Gross. Okay, so going back in with our what is it called? Daily Energizer Lovely Lip Balm. Can you add any more words to that name? This, we're going in with this. I'm gonna apply it over the lemon. Let me zoom you in. All right, so zoomed in, lips are dry, applied with the lemon, still tastes like lemon. Let's see if this works. I feel like you guys are like in my mouth right now. Okay. All right. It's applied. Feels about the same. Feels like really wet lip balm. Smells good. Kind of mixed now. It's like a lemon candy, but okay. So in a couple minutes, to me, it looks the same. All right. So couple more minutes by I would say it looks the same same as before or maybe even just like a little less like it changed less rosy I guess I'll put it in a side by side so we can see the video from the from earlier uh, without the lemon applied changing the pH so we'll see Meh. Meh. I don't know Oh, and if anyone's wondering, uh, my eyeshadow today, I wore a little bit of the Pure Cosmetics Soiree Diaries. There'll be a link at the end of the video, linking to my very first YouTube video. I apologize, I was sick, um, so I tried to like control my cough, but at the same time, it seemed like I had no personality and I may have been doing an interview. Sorry. Anywho, uh, back to this review. Uh, what was I saying? So maybe we can try something else. Let's try something basic now and try to change the pH of my lips. Um, I'll see what I have and we'll apply it over top. Be right back. All right, so we're back and what I looked up was pHs of different household, household items. Um, and I found that nothing really safe is basic <laughs> other than soap. I could apply soap to my lips, but I really, really, really hate when you get accidentally get soap in your mouth when you're eating or you know like you accidentally like wash something and you didn't wash it too good and then you try like eat something off the fork and you taste soap and you're just like Ugh, gross so I didn't want to do that long story short uh, so what I found that was basic that I don't absolutely hate putting near or on my lips would be toothpaste so this is just Colgate enamel health toothpaste. Uh, so I'm going to apply it to my lips. I'm just going to dab it and uh, apply. And then we're going to apply that Daily Energizer Lovely Lip Balm by Clarins on my lips. So this is applying like you'd think it was, would. It's, it's toothpaste. It's pretty viscous and thick. So it's kind of grainy too. But it's not like white so that's why I picked it it's clear it tastes like menthol or mint so it seems like a lot uh, I'm just gonna let it dry for a second we're gonna go in with this zoom you in apply it over top and see if it changes to a different color okay we're zoomed in lip balm 
and then let's apply. That smells like a sugary mint. Holy, mm, it's way pinker. It's turning pink way faster. Don't know I'll see that. It's like instantly pink on my lips. Oh my gosh, it is. Wow, it's like flamingo pink on my lips off camera. I mean, they actually, you know, on camera, it does look very pink. It is way pinker. And like that was like 2.5 seconds and it was like pink. <clears throat> so that is surprising. So if you have basic pH lips, this is for you. Does anyone have basic lips? Probably not. Do we all have pretty much the same pH? Yeah, probably. So they have probably only changes to the same color, which I would say probably is the same color, but it's like more vibrant and more even compared to uh, my first application. And then the lemon, I feel like uh, prevented it from changing. So it's not, it didn't um, like, it didn't change from clear to pink as much. It, it left a little bit more clear and I could see more of my natural lip underneath with the lemon. So this is like, more pigmented, it looks less like I sucked on a lollipop or a like popsicle. All right, so to wrap up, I'm still wearing the toothpaste <laughs> and daily energizer lovely lip balm by Clarins. Okay, so Clarins daily energizer lovely lip balm with toothpaste underneath, <laughs> which is basic. Uh, we went through the different pHs. Um, obviously basic is the best one to have. But yeah, for the most part, everyone has the same pH in on their skin. Like it's varies so little person to person. I would say that everyone's lips are gonna turn a, this shade of rosy pink. Um, so the color changing part is just kind of like for fun. Like, ooh, look, it's clear. Ooh, look, it's pink. If you're into that, this works. Um, I don't really love the packaging. It's so, I mean, it's lightweight, but I feel like white cardboard is just gonna get so gross and it's gonna like squish in my bag and it's just gonna look like I don't know I don't I don't think it's gonna last and I don't think it's gonna like stay nice and white and like crisp it kind of feels like um oh I know what it feels like it feels like when you roll up coins like a what is that called when you roll a coins when you roll get a roll of coins it feels like that so it feels like that like for $18 Canadian and $20 US, don't ask me on the conversion rates, why the conversion rates are like that for this. Yeah. It's a nice lip balm. It feels nice. It's a little bit longer wearing than I initially thought. It definitely lasted longer than the 10 minutes. Would I purchase? This was a gift, by the way. I did not buy this. Um, and not by the company in any way. I'm definitely not sponsored and all views expressed are my own. Um, I would say no. I don't think it's worth the money. It's just a lip balm. So I wouldn't buy it for myself, but if you had a friend that maybe is like really into color changing lip balms and lip products and makeup, maybe this is for them. <clears throat> also, it make sure you like scented like lip products because if you don't then this would get really annoying because it does have like a strong scent and even after wearing this for like half hour it's it's in there i can smell it all the time it smells like candy but so if you like that great if you don't don't get that but overall i thought uh this is a fun little test to see if it actually does change the ph or sorry it, if the color does change when you change the ph does it change the overall color? I would say no, but it did change how fast it went and maybe how even it was, unless you have acidic lips. Then if you have acidic, li acidic lips, it kind of prevented the color from changing at all. If you like this review, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I would really, really, really appreciate it. And that's all from me. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.